similar in a lot of ways, like very competitive, very stubborn, very stubborn. So I feel like it just start from there. How did that open that sign of connection that translated with so many faces on the team? Um, excuse me. I'm sorry. How is that openness and connection that you all have across the entire team translated to having so many new faces and new teammates this season? Yeah, I feel like that openness like makes people comfortable around us. So for freshmen, they're a great group of people. They're they're so fun. They're so open too. So it's not hard to get along, you know. Everybody's just um, very nice and uh, knows how to have fun. That's what's most important. Nika, how do you hope to be better this year than you were last year? What, what have you most improved on or what are you trying to most improve on? Um, a lot of stuff. I, I wouldn't say I'm concentrating on one thing. I would say everything. Everything a little bit because I see how hard it is. Everybody's getting better. So I feel like it's my duty and my obligation to just, you know, get in the gym and work hard for my team. I'm also doing it for them. Have you seen that translate so far in you know, this last month? Yes, of course. Like in this five weeks, you can really see how much we've like gone through. Like we've been working a lot individually in the training room. Whether it's the girls that are injured, they're rehabbing, working on their stuff, uh, us lifting, condition-wise, we just got so much better, and now we just have to keep doing it during the rest of the summer. Um, I think each of us has to fight this year. Like it's all starting from the beginning, like every year. But I don't think that's what that's what's the first thing for us for any of us because the important thing for us is to just win your part participation can be 30 minutes 20 minutes 10 minutes zero minutes it's just what you bring it, whether that's energy scoring anything so you just got to find your little role in which you can help us uh, our team uh, win and I think we're all gonna be fine then you said, you said that the loss against Arizona really weighed on you yeah what was it about that was it just you hate to lose or was it something about the game and how have you tried to um first of all yeah I, I hate to lose I hate to lose but I think just the way that we lost I think that wasn't us on the court uh, we've been working so hard last year in such hard like environment and everything that was going on and I don't think we I don't think we showed that that just wasn't us on the court so just the way that we lost that was like heartbreaking for me yeah. isn't this much better than a zoom call? it is <laughs> Because much better, <laughs> much better. Yeah, you were capturing all my emotions, and everything. <laughs> much What's better. What's it been like watching when you have to watch that film of the Arizona game? I asked Liv, and she's like, it, "That isn't me." I don't know how the rest of you will get. Honestly, I didn't watch it. I don't watch it. You refuse to? Yeah, I refuse to. I refuse to. I know Coach, Coach is gonna hear this, and she's not gonna like it, but I refuse to watch that game. I just didn't watch it. I'm gonna watch it eventually, but I'm not ready for it yet. I'm not ready for it. There was this moment where you were like, I think it was right when the buzzer sounded. I don't know if you remember this. It's probably such a blur. You were like standing on the court, like around the three-point line. Like you're the only, I remember just you were the only one who like I like vividly remember just like you were staring out into space. I think the yeah. page grabbed. Do you remember that moment? Uh, I, I honestly don't remember. I it's as you said, it's very blurry. Like what happened? I remember I was just very upset. I was crying a lot in the locker room. Obviously, like it, it, it meant a lot to us. That's the main thing we're working for the whole year. And to lose like that, they were just better than us. Yeah. How much um, have you grown up in this last year since you first got here? It's been almost a year now. A lot. And like it's very uh, rewarding to just see the progress. Because many times it takes a, a lot, like a lot of time to see it. But I've just been seeing it month by month, like. Each month passes by, you just see your progress and the way you work, your work ethic changes, your perspective changes, the le level of maturity, everything. So it's like very rewarding. It keeps you me forward. Could you have imagined this a year ago if I told you this is where you're going to be a year ago when you first got here? Never. I could never have imagined that. It's just, things just keep surprising me like every day. It's just a surprise after surprise. So it's still very surreal to be here, you know. I never really settled and like, realize I'm here, you know. You've probably been asked this before, but what progress have you made since the Arizona game from the few weeks you got to be home and then a few weeks? Yeah, um, well, when I got home, I took a week off for my ankle and then I said, that's enough. I just, I was in the gym the whole day, every, every day, every week until I came here and now I just continue to do it. 
So you know, I just want to, I just want to get better for my team, honestly, because I don't want to lose like that next year. I know you probably won't get a homecoming game like we are going to get to Georgia Tech and all that, but you're going to talk to Coach. Well, you could schedule Illinois. Illinois. Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to have a talk. We're going to have a talk. <laughs> I feel like that's going to happen. I hope it's going to happen. I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. Or you can go to Croatia. Or we can go to Croatia. I'm, I'm sure tour. all of them are, would like that to go to Croatia. Go to Italy, yes. Here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm just so proud of her because her process has been really hard, hard with COVID and everything. So just to like you know have that like feeling of okay like you're settled she loves the place they love her there they're very nice people um, she didn't get to visit yet so I can't wait to hear from her like what that's gonna be like it's just you know watch my little sister through the whole process that I've been through it's just so like it's beautiful like I'm so proud of her I'm a little biased with an Illinois love it's a great place so yeah it's in a good spot yeah well thank you <laughs> You always talk about the basketball stuff, adjusting that. How about the academics? You're like, yeah, you were you happy with? Right. I know you got at uh, least the 3-0 your first. I don't know if you did second semester. Yeah, right? um, I'm not sure honestly what I did second semester. I don't think it was that good, but um, there was a lot going on the second semester. But um, academics is academics. You know, we have to do it. That's uh, that's also a very important part of this whole journey. So we're all working hard there too. So yeah, just got two A's this summer semester, so it's going pretty well. Um, I think it was mind and body connection and sociology. How have you been trying to help the freshmen? Um, honestly, the level of maturity that the freshmen have is just huge. They come, they came in, they're not joking, they're like working hard, so I'm really proud of them. Like, We're just trying to give them a little tips that's going to help them during the season to maybe prepare them for that. But I'm I'm like very positively like surprised with them. So yeah. So what does a sophomore know that a freshman doesn't? What does a sophomore know that a freshman doesn't? <clears throat> what pisses Gino off? <laughs> <laughs> and what, pi you, what pisses C D off? <laughs> I'm gonna keep that to myself because I don't want freshmen to watch this. They're, they're gonna see. They're gonna see. Uh, a little too late. Learned <laughs> <laughs> what the second one is. How to piss CD off. Oh, how to piss CD off? Hmm. No, I've, where, I've learned where, that in, one. Oh, you learned that one? How? Just trust me. You know. Yeah, you know. no, I know. Just, just I know. Me. You don't know, but you know. I'm just gonna trust you. <laughs> Home. So yes. Are you excited? What do you have I am. I am. I'm excited. Um, I'm definitely gonna, you know, have fun, practice, work on everything that we've been working on here. Just, you know, keeping that same um, pace, working at the same pace so I can come here ready. But I'm definitely gonna have fun, you know, go out to sea, drink cocktails on the beach and stuff. <laughs> So that's it. Sounds like yeah. a great summer. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that basketball without borders thing in Tampa? Yes. That's where I met you, by the way. I don't know oh, if you really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, I even yeah. I, I, I came out. I came out the game. I came. No, I came out the Clearwater beat you. Oh. No, that was after the game. After yeah. the game, right? Yeah. No, I came out the day before the game. I came oh, the out, day before I the came game? To, I came to Clearwater oh. for when you were practicing. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad, glad I made such a great impression. <laughs> 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 what did you learn from stuff like that as you were growing up that you think might have helped you? you know, like basketball you? without borders? Yeah, and that sort of thing. Um, that's just, I, I would describe it as a once in a lifetime experience because not a lot of kids like get an opportunity to be there so I'm very like thankful that I was one of the girls to be there because it's just, you know, I've made friends for life, I've seen places that I would never have seen, we've been in Tampa, Florida, there was my first trip to America, so you know, just playing basketball with the best around the world was like very rewarding. Surprised every day. What's the latest surprise? The latest surprise? Hmm. I don't know. We just uh, we just had an encounter. Uh, encounter. We just met Daniela. Uh, we haven't uh, met Daniela for the whole last uh, past year because of COVID. So that was like a great surprise, and it was like nice to meet her finally and her family. So yeah. To finally start getting those experiences that you didn't get as a Oh, it means a lot. 
I'm very like happy that last year was like it was because I feel like it was a very unique experience although with all the challenges and everything of course it was it was a terrible year for many reasons but I wouldn't change it but um, I feel like this year you know it's like you're freshman again like you're young again so it's gonna be all new stuff and I'm happy like it's gonna be fun do you have, do you I was just gonna ask do you have in-person classes like how much have you even walked around campus do you know how to get oh my god I don't, I don't know where what is like honestly I know where Starbucks is I know where the library is that's it like we haven't walked around a lot so it's gonna be fun to you know explore new, pl new places and stuff and yeah I haven't walked around much do you feel, I mean, you kind of talked about just being a sophomore, but do you feel like the age of this team being so young and stuff so many freshmen and sophomores? I mean, obviously, yeah, we're still a very young team. We got three seniors this year, and our three seniors, you can really tell that they worked a lot like in this off season during the summer they came here ready they are not playing it's it's different vibes this year like you can tell people people are mad you can tell they they need do you say redemption is it a redemption yeah yeah they like hey we need redemption so unfinished business unfinished as business said. yes as he said so like i feel like although we're much younger this year seniors are bringing something else this year so we're kind of you know we're kind of mature in a way. I'm happy about that. Do you think you're mature? Oh <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. You can ask him that, but I feel like he's pretty happy with where we're at now. Like he was very happy with our summer session and the way it worked. So.